at the Pretoria Zoo between the 3rd of May and the 27th of June. Many animals were admired, but we will be focusing on the spotted hyena. As we monitor the group, we see the miracle of cooperation as they gather the materials and survey the site before beginning the groundbreaking procedures. There were many hands-on activities, but as digging for the foundations begins, there was a need for a closer inspection. The foundations now hold some of the structural elements for the pulley system, while Hank and Neil have some help from Thor's hammer, making sure that these elements are secure and in place. There are examples in nature, such as the common ant, of creatures being able to lift more than 10 times their own body weight. Here is an example of a hive working together to create a healthy system. This is what we call a short break, followed by overtime. The structure for the pulley system needs to be cemented in place. This involves the pouring, the setting, and a large period of time waiting. Now that the structure is in place and secure, we need a system to ensure the coexistence of the humans outside the enclosure with the desired food and the hungry hyena, which has made its home inside the enclosure. With a little supervision and guidance, the spring-loaded bungee system needs to be installed onto the cables, which is then controlled by a series of pulleys. This provides the required strength and stability for the system to endure the pressures that the hyena will exert on the bungee when feeding. Here is the said hyena patiently waiting, fencing off the area to prevent any interference with the feeding system. Here you can see the final product. There are two bungee systems in an all-natural bamboo casing which is ready for the hyena. So pull out the bungee cords, strap on your harnesses, let's go bungee. Hyena feeding off the bungee system and a job well done.